Denny Hamlin gives his thoughts on how to fix the NASCAR short tracks. Coming up next. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Hope you are doing good today. They have the Martinsville tire test going on, uh, trying to figure out how to sort of fix the short track racing so that there is more passing. And on Twitter, Denny Hamlin talked to Bozzy Tartaviric. I can't say his last name, but he talked to Bozzy, the tech guy, basically the tech guy from Twitter. Uh, and let's see what they had to say. Bozzy said, Cup teams will test a new final drive ratio at Martinsville tomorrow as they have been instructed to swap, drop the gears into the transaxle before day two of testing. They ran with the 5 8 final drive ratio from the spring race today and will test the 6 0 final drive ratio tomorrow. Denny Hamlin responded, There is a very complicated answer to this riddle how we fix Martinsville uh, and other short tracks for that matter. Comes from lap time variation. This is what creates quote unquote passing. For example, today the lap time variation in a 40 lap run was roughly four tenths of a second from start to finish. As time has gone on over the last 10 or so years, we have gone from nearly 900 horsepower to somewhere around 650. That will wear the tire significantly less right off the bat. We also have reduced the RPM over time, roughly 500 RPM. That's a biggie. Take the lower horsepower, lower RPM, add in the wider tire, and what you get is very low tire degradation, which in turn means less lap time variation. Now add in a car that is slightly more aero sensitive. On top of that, you will typically get 99 out of 100 times less passing. So he touched on quite a few things there. First is, and most importantly, tire fall off. He said they don't have enough tire fall off and he gave several reasons for that. The first one being the horsepower. He said there's not enough horsepower to basically burn these tires off. Also, given the fact that there is now a wider tread width, it is also harder to burn off all of the tread on the tire uh, because it is just wider and has more grip, period. So couple that with the lower horsepower. And I think he's absolutely on to something there. He also goes on to mention they are turning fewer RPMs because they have basically a taller gear now, I, I would assume. Uh, but in, anyway, the RPMs are down 500 RPMs. That is also, that's basically your torque uh, when you would spin a tire if you get on it too, too aggressively. So that's also uh, helping not wear the tires down. So what he's saying is you need more tire fall off to create more passing because as the tire falls off more, of course, you're going to put it more into the driver's hands. And so far as that goes, I 100% agree with him. Then he goes on to say that this car is more aero sensitive than the last car. I think part of something that other people have talked about and other people have touched on is that they have these blocks up underneath the uh, bottom of the car to keep it from bottoming all the way out. I think if they could somehow remove those blocks so that the cars could get all the way down to the bottom, that would make these cars a lot less aero sensitive, especially at our short tracks where they shouldn't be all that aero sensitive anyway. If the car can suck down onto the bottom, that will also create less of that aero effect, especially when you've got that diffuser at the back of the car. So I think Denny Hamlin's onto something with the tire wear, but I think also what's holding them back is you don't see these cars going down onto the ground. Uh, that also creates other issues. Uh, suspension travel is needed to get the car to set up to go through the corners. So there's all kinds of things that play into that uh, less movement. I'm not getting into the explanation of how bump stops work and how much travel you need in a race car because that would be boring and be... A ton of people don't know what I'm talking about if I get into that and see there's millions of different theories on it anyway. But that being said, I think Denny Hamlin is actually on the right path. But let me know down in the comments below uh, what you think about Denny Hamlin's comments. Is he on the right path? I think he pretty much hit the nail on the head. You got to have some tire fall off. Uh, I personally think they should just increase the horsepower and forget about manufacturing tires that'll fall off. Just, just give them more horsepower. Uh, I think that would be pretty easy to do. But uh, let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys think. Door Bumper Clear said that Hendrick has a unique problem where they have two number ones. They said just about every other team has a clear number one. They said if you go to Penske, your clear number one is Joey Logano, although Brett Griffin uh, thought it was uh, Ryan Blaney. I would have to agree with the rest of the crew there that is definitely 100% uh, Joey Logano at Penske. Uh, but then he said, you go, you know, you go throughout and you have your number ones everywhere. And then they said, uh, uh, Joe Gibbs racing, it was clearly uh, Kyle Busch until recently, and then they got into the whole uh, Kyle Busch is, is going to be leaving uh, Joe Gibbs racing, according to them. Uh, they are the only source so far that is basically seems really uh, confident about that. But then they talked about Hendrick was a unique situation because they have two number ones 
in Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott, and they said no disrespect to William Byron and Alex Bowman, but when they give feedback sitting down at the team meetings, their feedback is probably not listened to as much as it is from Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson, and they said that is actually a, a unique situation, and that is sort of what uh, is unique about Hendrick right now. They have two number ones, and that is part of the friction, uh, what you saw boil over basically at Watkins Glen. Uh, you got two guys uh, trying to be number one, going for number one, which is no big surprise, but they did come out and say it, so I thought it was interesting, uh, but they are right about that. You have no clear number one uh, at Hendrick right now, uh, so those meetings will be interesting. Which guy do they actually listen to uh, when it comes down to the playoffs as to how they are going to get the baseline set up for each car? Are they going to listen to the five car or are they going to listen to the nine car? Do they do it like they did back in the day uh, where they separate them? They had the 24 and the 48 up the hill, and then they had the uh, five and the 25 back then down at the bottom of the hill. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Hendrick navigates that going forward. But of course, who do you think? Of course, I, I think you listen to Kyle Larson because I'm a Kyle Larson fan. Uh, but uh, let me know down in the comments below who you think is, should be the uh, number one down at Hendrick just for fun. Don't get crazy about it you know uh but that is all i got for you today just do i wanted to do a quick update i think denny hamlin is on to something about those tires uh but other than that that's all i got for you uh, if you made it this far feel free to subscribe if you got a comment leave it down in the comments i get to as many as i can and other than that thanks for your time peace